Hey, what up, fuckers? It's your boy Abow from Project Rogue coming at you guys with another 5M tutorial video. And today's video, we're going to show you guys how to fix the annoying keybind stuck glitch that keeps happening to people. If you have been in a 5M server or Project Rogue yourself, and for some reason your radio stops working or your third eye stops working with the left alt and it just does not seem to want to stick to the keybind, or you're just here to learn how to clear your catch and maybe reset some of your 5M data, this video is for you guys. If you guys do like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know it helped. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. And before we go ahead and hop right into the video, a little shameless plug. We are Project Rogue Roleplay, where we are a serious and high quality roleplay server that believes in immersive roleplay. You guys can find us at www.projectrogueroleplay.com. This is our website. You can actually join our official Discord page right from here or a link in the description below along with follow all of our social media and if you hit this play now button you guys will be directed to a page where it's going to show you our official rulebook page along with being able to hit this button and if you guys go ahead and hit that button it should launch 5m and connect right to projectroleplay.com so guys thank you guys so much for watching the video and let's go ahead and hop into the actual content that you guys came here for all right, so if you have a 5M application on your desktop, you can just go ahead and right click and you're gonna go ahead and open file location. From there, you're just gonna go ahead and open up your 5M application data. Now let's say that you guys don't have it on your desktop. You guys can simply just type in 5M in your Windows key, right click and say open file location. From there, we're gonna go ahead and right click 5M again, open file location. We're then gonna open up 5M application data and we're in the same folder. So really quick, if you guys find this citizenfx.ini, go ahead and delete that. Then from there, go ahead and take this complete data folder and delete that. And we're gonna take crashes and delete that. Now, I'm gonna come to my desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and empty my recycling bin. Super easy stuff. Then what I wanna do is I'm gonna hit Windows R. It should pull up this run. You're then going to type in percent app data percent. From there, hit OK. Then it should have you in your app data and roaming folder. From the roaming folder, you're just gonna find Citizen FX and go ahead and delete that as well. After I go ahead and I empty my recycling bin, I'm gonna go ahead and launch 5M. It should verify the content. Updating 5M, all normal stuff. It's gonna ask you to find the folder of your Grand Theft Auto. For me, it automatically pulls it up, but if you guys are using Steam, it's very easy to find. Just go to this PC, go to Windows C or Windows D, wherever you guys have it saved. Programs File 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, then find your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit Select Folder. Right there, we're gonna go ahead and verify game content. Should ask you to update the catch. Go ahead and say yes. Should sit here for a little bit, if depending on your guys' computer speed. This could vary for me. Should go pretty fast. There we go. Then it should start 5M like normal. Should connect to the Rockstar services. And sometimes you might be met with an error. That's completely fine. Just don't even click OK. It just automatically exit out, figures itself out, and now we're starting 5M. From there, we did just go ahead and reset some of our 5M settings. So we're gonna go ahead and go to settings. You're gonna go ahead and make sure that you click Canary. It should say that you're gonna have to restart the game. So we're gonna say close. Make sure that you go ahead and fix UI lag with high GP usage, but may cause reliability issues. Go ahead and just click that box. Go ahead and say fix hitches at high frame rates. Go ahead and click automatically recenter the vehicle. And I'm gonna go ahead and disable third person shake. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and exit off of here. I should be able to launch my 5M again. Might have to do another verifying content or updating 5M as you see right here. Start in 5M. And boom, there you guys have it. So we just went ahead, we basically re-updated our game to the latest version of 5M. We also went ahead and cleared our catch. And then of course we got rid of that citizen fx data folder that was inside of app data 
After this, you guys should be good. Go ahead and fly into the server, whether you guys are from Project Rogue or you guys are from a different community. Fly into the server, you guys should have no more stuck keybinds. And you also just cleared your catch, meaning that you have the recent and most updated data from the server. If this video did help you guys out, please give the video a big thumbs up. It really does help me out. Along with, go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section below if you guys have any issues. If the issue persists with stuck keybinds, along with letting me know if it did work for you. Have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you guys are at in the world. And until next video, I'll see you guys soon.